Well, hello there, folks. How are you? It's lovely to see you again as usual. And thanks for coming over just to check out this wee video recipe for this amazing creamy potato and ham soup. This was actually suggested to me by one of my lovely subscribers, Lucy, who found this recipe online and thought that it looked delicious. And let me tell you, it's probably one of the nicest slow cooker soups I've ever tried. So as usual, I'm just going to run you through the ingredients, but everything will be in the show more box underneath the video. So I've got a three and a half liter crock pot here. I'm going to set this to high. This will take about five hours all in or you can do it in low for about seven or eight hours. So I'm going to start with my tatties. I've just peeled and diced those and to that I'm going to add one medium onion. I've just finely diced and then one large stalk of celery which again I've just diced up quite small and then a couple of medium carrots, just thinly sliced. Then to that, I'm going to add a wee bit of garlic. Not much. You just want a nice sort of background flavour. You don't want anything taken over. I've got one teaspoon of smoked paprika because I like the smoky flavour. But you could use ordinary paprika if you prefer. Then a wee dash of nutmeg as well. This is quite strong. So a quarter teaspoon is fine. And then a teaspoon of salt. And then I've also got some freshly ground black pepper as well, about half teaspoon of that. The recipe actually called for Dijon mustard. I didn't have any, but I did have the English mustard, so I just used that instead. And if I'm being honest, I couldn't taste the mustard at all. To this, I'm going to add some chicken stock. You could add vegetable or ham, whatever you prefer. The recipe called for chicken stock, so I just used the chicken stock that I had. And I'm actually using the wee stock pots, you know, the nor sort of wee jelly stock pots. But you can use whatever chicken stock or broth you prefer. And just give that a wee stir. And don't panic thinking there's no way there's enough liquid in here because you'll get a lot of liquid from your vegetables as they break down. Pop in a few bay leaves and then just make sure they're under your water. Pop your lid on and give this about four hours on high. But like I said, you can cook it on low. If you're going to cook it on low, I would give this about six hours. And once you're just about there, come back, grab a jug and then your double cream or heavy cream, depending on where you're from. Pop that into a jug and to that we're going to add two tablespoons of corn flour or corn starch. Again, depending on where you're from. It's crazy, isn't it, how we call the same thing uh, different things. You know, it's corn starch, corn flour. I think corn starch actually makes more sense. Just give that a good stir until it's all smooth. Get the lid off of your slow cooker and you want to make sure that you remove the bay leaves because you don't want to be chewing down on those. That wouldn't be very pleasant. And then you can pop in your cream and corn flour and give that a good stir around. Don't stir it around too much because obviously your potatoes are very tender at this point. You don't want them all mushing up into nothing because it would just turn into mashed potato that way. And then we're also going to add in the cooked ham. You can use whatever cooked ham you prefer some gammon or you know cooked meat, anything that you like. Give that another wee stir through. And you want to pop your lid on for about another half hour just to let everything warm through and let your, your soup thicken up a wee bit. Now, this is not going to be overly thick. If you do want a really thick soup, you can take a hand masher and mash some of your potatoes down. But it was thick enough for us. The last thing I'm going to do is add in a blob of sour cream just to balance out that very, very creamy soup. And then I'm also going to add in a handful of fresh chopped parsley. And as you can see there, it really is quite thick, but it's not overly thick. So it just depends how thick you like it. Like I said, if you do like a really thick soup, you can mash some of those potatoes up or just keep furiously mixing it and your potatoes will break down a wee bit more as well. But I was really happy with this and it was really a meal in itself. It was so hearty, so comforting and highly recommend you give that one a go. So thank you again, Lucy, for alerting me to this wonderful recipe. And just before I leave you, I wanted to say a huge thank Thank you to the supporters of the channel over my Patreon page, to the channel members here on YouTube as well, and for you all for leaving your lovely messages, and yet yeah, for those that share the videos as well, it's all very much appreciated. And I will catch up with you during the week for another wee recipe, or shopping unbagging, or back on Sunday for meals of the week. But whenever you choose to join me again, have a wonderful rest of your day, and I'll see you off as soon back here on What's for Tea. Bye now.